Good morning, everyone. It's Lonnie. We are back in the shed and uh, just getting getting the bench ready for the day's work. Pretty good bit of sale. Yesterday was a really good sales day, actually. I'm not going to say pretty good bit. I'll own it. It was a good sales day. <laughs> um, across both stores, I had really good sales. Um, and just a few pops and some hot wheels and some other stuff which makes it a little more fun for me anyway it's kind of get a little more variety going on but we are going to go ahead and pull these orders now uh, i have this genesis out and i really i really need to get an av cable for it so i just ordered one of those regular av you plug into the av jack so ordered one of those and I'm not even sure if I have a game or anything to test it with. So I might have to buy a game or something to test that with. Still have the Dreamcast. I may take a look at that later on today. Or maybe not. I might I might go back and get the rest of this stuff. This kind of stuff that uh, I need to get listed. But right now I'm going to go ahead and pull orders. First one is this seiko watch really cool watch let me show you all something real quick okay it's still keeping good time it is like 10 something right now um if you watch this little part right here it does have a stopwatch on it and boom see that little guy spinning around that keeps track of your tenths of a second or whatever and then the second hand moves to keep track of the seconds so I thought that was pretty cool. You hit it again to stop, and then you hit it, hit this down here to reset. So I thought that's pretty cool watching that being done mechanically. I've never had a watch that does that. Then I have the box and stuff. And um, Bob bought the watch, and uh, Bob, I hope you like it. Bob is at uh, he sells on eBay. Um, Slinger dash is dash selling. So, I hope you like the watch. I think it's in really nice condition. I don't know how. I don't know how well y'all can see it. The uh, the glad the the crystal or whatever. It's in really great shape, and so is everything else, really. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the watch, Bob. Thank you very much. Okay, we have a video game order going out. We have a Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez uh, sold for $7.99. It's going out to Mike. Mike, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the game. Got another video game order going out uh, to another Mike. And they didn't say they were a viewer, but they gotta be. They have to be a viewer. And it's funny, look, it's all four of these games right here. All four. So, uh, the Jungle Book. Pluck. Rocky Rodent and Mega Man X and I never heard of either Plock or Rocky Rodent I've never seen those before I've sold them like I'm not strictly a video game seller obviously but I've sold my share of video games I've never seen those two <laughs> so anyway thank you very much Mike do appreciate it sold a comic book CW120 and you know what I've uh I had like four four comic boxes for a while and uh this is combined all down into one box now which is actually pretty nice i just have to figure out i've got several different numbering conventions several different numbering conventions in the same box and i think i flashed some nudity just now so i'm gonna have to edit I have to cut cut it down to edit that out all right, here we go. This is the one I was looking for. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales number 35. A couple of young ladies eating some uh, little skull candies there. <laughs> so $19.99 plus shipping on top for this. Okay, one more order on that store, on Garage Flips eBay store. And it is for uh -huh, some little GBA games, Game Boy Advance games. Um, these aren't these aren't particularly valuable. I think one of them might be worth five bucks or something. So I just bundled them all four together for $9.99 plus a little bit of shipping on top. And these are going out to Fred, who is the Sunshine State Picker. 
on YouTube. So thank you very much, Fred. Hope you enjoy. Correction on that last one. I think I think your name is actually Drew. <laughs> I think Fred must uh maybe, maybe a family member or something like that. But anyway, thank you very much, Drew. Okay, on to the other account, the Mean PC Store. There's a deal I didn't tell y'all about that I made the other day. It included this car, this set, which I haven't listed yet for, I have a reason I haven't listed that, that I'll talk about in a minute. It included this set right here, which I'm pulling now, and there's another one. I um, don't remember where I put the other one. Oh, the other one's in a box, that's why. I'm looking for cars. The other one, oh, the other one's right here. Um, so anyway, I got this, this, and that other thing um, from my guy for a hundred bucks, which sounds like a bunch of money, but they have some really good value. This one right here pays for the deal. I got a hundred and, 139.99 plus shipping on top for this one. This one's actually going out to one of those freight forwarders, uh, Shop America Airlines types. If you, uh, is that what it's called? Shop America? I think it is. But if you've ever done business with those guys, basically they buy it, ship it, I guess, to China or something. And then the buyer on the other end gets the item. So it's, it's basically freight forwarding to China, I believe. I've never had any trouble with them, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they, they always they always buy like kind of unique stuff and this thing's kind of unique. Okay, next up we have a Hot Wheel. It's in Funko 2, which I believe is here, yeah. Like I said, I'll be able to consolidate these boxes pretty soon, if not now. But I'm looking for a black, I forgot already. There's a black 62 Chevy, I believe. I think it's this one right here. Yep, 62 Chevy, one out of 20,000 edition. I think this is about a $10 car. There we go. I think this is about a $10 car though. Okie doke, next up is Pop A1, which is right here. Pop A, A1. And Roseanne, or Rose, bought a 65 Mustang in silver. Here it is. What a beauty, huh? Mm -mm -mm. I love it. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, Roseanne. Hope you like the car. Appreciate it. So before I pack this car, it reminds me, I've been uh, I've been playing like Jay Leno car videos in the background the past few days, just so I can get, get a little better idea what some of these cars that I like, I really like, and hear, hear some of the experts talk about them. It's Jay Leno's car videos are way better than anything you ever did on TV. In my opinion but uh and i think those are actually on tv on some obscure network but anyway i wanted to ask uh what is your favorite movie car and i mean i i could probably name a bunch but right now my favorite car is my favorite car from a movie and it's probably just because it's recent uh is this guy right here mustang boss four four twenty nine love that car from the john wick series of course oh my gosh i i don't even know how much that car costs it must be about a hundred thousand dollar car or something there what's your favorite okay next up i can't wait to see all the cool movie cars that are going to be in the uh, comments because i know i'm missing some right whenever i'm thinking about it my memory just sucks anyways um curtis bought one of these bunnies from toy story 4 for his son so, wait, what was his name? Sorry, <laughs> see your son's name, Curtis. Uh, Hunter. So I hope Hunter enjoys, Curtis. Thank you very much. Okay, now I have a four car order here. So I got a black Mustang from Pop A1. And I've got a blue Barracuda from eBay shelf. All right. Pull those two and then I'll go pull the other two. That's enough for me to try to remember. Okay, here is the black Mustang from Pop A1. And then I have a, see I did these a little different <laughs> whenever I first started. 
Whenever I first started listing the cars, I didn't like split them out by number like that, which was kind of a mistake. Let's see. Where is this Barracuda at? Isn't that what I was looking for? Uh, oh, it must be right here. Blue Barracuda. There she blows. All right. Uh, two more cars to pull. Okay, the other two cars from eBay shelf had a blue El Camino. Here we go. And a green Chevelle. This was from eBay One, by the way, which is right here. And then we have a green Chevelle, which I don't have a actual number for. There, that's a green Chevelle. I'll just take a quick glance to make sure there's no other Chevelles or El Caminos, and I don't see any. So, yeah, that's everything for that order. That's a nice looking car, too. I like the green. I like silver and green. Okay, Aaron got... Aaron got a VET, an SR2. Oh, what color did he get? I don't remember what color it said. I've got two. I've got a coin flip going here. I'm going to guess red, Aaron, but I'm going to double check. Don't worry, buddy. If I got it wrong. And then, uh, oh, Funko 5, he got a special delivery truck. And this is... A blue one. I think it's this one. So, yep, 34 Ford special delivery. It's that one. But again, I will double check both of these cars to make sure they are right. Let me see. I'm, I'm like 99% on that Ford delivery vehicle, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm like 50% on the vet. Uh, did I get the vet right? Yes, red. <laughs> so thank you very much, Aaron. Okay, red Viper from eBay One over here. Yeah, that's red and it's a Viper. And a yellow Viper. Did I forget which box I was going? I think it was over here. A2. Okay, that's it. Yellow Viper from A2. And then there are two more cars on the order I'm pulling right now. Let me just set these down. Okay, uh, eBay 3. Orange Hummer. Right here. Orange Hummer. And an e a yellow Superbird. And it's funny, I just saw one of these on um, the Jay Leno, <laughs> Jay Leno show I was talking about on YouTube. He, I just watched that video yesterday where he had a Superbird. That thing is crazy. <laughs> that thing was very futuristic looking at the time. Anyway, here we go. That's that order going out. Hey, well, this is weird. Uh, another one another sale to the freight forwarder people <laughs> that's funny two in one day i don't think i've had one in a couple of months and i get two in one day um this time i'm pulling i didn't even look at the uh i didn't even look at the location shelf location shouldn't be hard to find it's in a I think I, did I put it all in one box? I think I did. Uh, uh, no. Must be here. This must be it right here. Yep, L-O-T-R. That's Lord of the Rings. All right, so anyways, yeah, I sold um, 19 of these Lord of the Rings blind boxes for $100. And they're going... Guess they're going to China. <laughs> Guess they're going to China somewhere, ultimately. But right now, I think they're going to like Washington or something. So, okay, just a couple more now. Have a uh, GT40. Where was I going? Oh, over here, eBay. Look, this box is empty. So, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely, I need to consolidate, especially after I pull this. Four GT40. The one I, the one I'm pulling is a silver-looking one. You have another one that's blue. And yeah, look, one, two, three, four of these boxes can be consolidated. And I can uh then I can break these boxes down and reuse them. When I've done this before, I've actually I actually do end up using the boxes for shipping. <laughs> so 
shipped a bunch of comics with boxes like that. Uh, did I get the car I needed? Oh yeah, this is all I needed. Okay, it's all I was pulling. So yeah, pretty good little sale here. Man, I'm so happy with these Hot Wheels sales. I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but this car, this GT40 is going out to Evan. So Evan, thank you very much. Hot Wheels, Snake, Mongoose, Hall of Fame, Pippin. Okay, this is another one from that $100 buy I was talking about. This one was like 60, I think. So, what, 200 in sales before, before fees? So that's a money doubler there. Plus I have this other piece. It's the least valuable piece, thank goodness. But it's got like the bands, which I don't, I'm gonna have to open it up. And the reason is I, I'm, the bands, a lot of these I see on eBay have the bands broken. And these aren't totally disintegrated, might not have damaged the paint. But anyways, um, I would just go ahead and sell it like this because it is, it's never been opened, it's sealed. But look, these pop open. I just don't think, I don't think it could survive shipping like that. So I think I'm gonna have to open that sucker up and uh, I don't have a choice. So good thing, good thing I got this stuff at a good deal because um, like if it was close and I was kind of relying on that for profit, uh, which I still am, but yeah, it would have screwed it up, but I'm still going to make great profit because I've got 200 in sales off a hundred dollar buy plus whatever I get for that thing. All right. That's everything that has to go out today. Um, I'm going to pull everything though, because this is a rare opportunity for me to, um, clear the, clear the entire deck. So I haven't been able to do that for quite a while. <laughs> So I have one on each store to accomplish that. Regina lunch lunch box lunch exclusive, not lunch box. Uh, that sold for some amount of money that you see on the screen. And then I got one more thing to pull. Got one more thing to pull. This thing right here, this Scrabble Deluxe Edition, 1999 edition. I paid $5 for this at a yard sale. And Opened it up, inventoried it last night. All the all the tiles are there. It had all 100 tiles. Uh, it had everything's in nice condition. Let's see if we got a score pad, which I need to put that somewhere else, I guess. But the cool thing, if you didn't know about these, is they're on a turntable, and some are better than others. Like the really old ones, I don't think sell as good as these. This might have been a. If I wasn't missing a few pieces, this might have been more like a, a $40 type item. I'm trying to figure out where I can put this. It doesn't fit here. It doesn't fit under there. Maybe it will fit here. If I put it like that. It might fit. Anyways, uh, I was missing two things from this, which were not a big deal. You don't even need, need the things that was missing to play it. It was missing the instruction manual and it was missing there's a little uh like one minute type timer you flip over didn't have that either but other than that it was complete so uh got 30 bucks plus shipping on top i paid five for this at a uh, garage sale i think about three weeks ago all right i'm back from the post office also made another run to storage to get more stuff to list uh and when i got back i saw this for some reason this is the watch the seiko watch sitting on the friggin scale so bob uh i don't know i don't know it'll probably get out tomorrow <laughs> sorry dude i don't know why it was sitting on the scale i don't even need to weigh that thing but um yeah i, I did stop by storage this box and this box contain the rest of this $825 deal. Actually, it's a $700 deal because I have movie posters and a few other odds and ends that are right here that I paid $125 for. So to say that's $825 is not really fair. So I'm gonna get, um, over the next few days, I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff listed. Then I can move on to listing hats. <laughs> and then I have some other stuff um, I bought I bought this from my guy the other day too. I don't have any video of it because I wasn't expecting to meet him. 
This is a small portion of what I bought though. These are these Star Wars Galactic Connections. I don't think, in general, I don't think they have much value. But I have a lot of these gold ones. Like there's a Leia, there's a Darth Vader, and there's different color ones too. Reds, greens, silvers, golds. There's a, uh, whatchamacallit, Princess Amidala. Is that who that is? Yeah. And look, there's a Boba Fett, gold. And I'm looking at worth point. Now, I don't know what they're worth now. <laughs> I, I mean, because these values like change big time. But I'm looking like at worth point right now. Here's that Boba Fett gold. Sold for 60 bucks back in 2015. And these things are super hard for me to comp. I can't really find a whole lot of modern comps on these things. Now, what I'm showing you here, I have two binders like this that I'm assuming must be special ones. But I also have, look, there's some kind of Stormtrooper gold. There's all kind of gold ones in here. So, I mean, it's got to be money. There's a fan. There's some... Uh, there's an X-Wing, TIE Fighter, etc. gold. There's a BB-5 gold. So I got two of these, and then at the same time I bought these, um, one big bundle, right? I have these huge, not huge buckets, but they're big. They're like the size, the bends are about the size, a little bit smaller than this box. I think I've got three of them. And I've got thousands of comments of these things too. So two big binders like this and then thousands of commons. And I'm into them for $250. I was not able to find. The comps I found on Worth Point, I don't know what they mean today. Probably not that much. Um, and I'm not finding that much on eBay either as far as the special ones go. So we'll see what happens with this. This is, I couldn't not buy this stuff. Oh, well, I could have, like I had the choice not to buy it, but so anyway, I spent 250 on this and then I spent a hundred on that Hot Wheels stuff I was talking about earlier. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I don't know anybody, any of y'all that are watching, y'all have recent experience selling this stuff. I mean, I know I have sold the commons like about six months ago and it took a while to sell, so. Anyways, uh, graduation tonight, that's going to be it for this video. Thank y'all very much for watching. I will see y'all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.